Okay, this is a VR to uh, Pops Quest, a uh, really good channel, nice guy. I have it today called, um, I'll put a link to it. Why do you carry or do you carry out of fear? Talk about carry, legally carrying a uh, firearm, per permit to conceal, you know, type type situation. Yeah, it was a really good video. Um, and I don't try to be different, it's just the way it comes out. Um, and I'm not speaking to anybody else what you should do. Everyone has their own reasons. Um, so this is not some kind of, um, I tell you to do, I'm not telling you to do what I do. Because uh, my situation is different than yours. Um, but the title, you probably saw the title, is the reasons, this is why I don't carry. Okay, or the reason why I don't carry. Um, Yeah, I'll, I'll just make it real simple. I, I looked into this in the past. Back in the early 90s, I went and applied for a permit. And it's much easier now to get a permit here in the town where I live because we have a really good sheriff and she's all for it once everybody armed. And the same with our, our chief police. Um, I looked into it, did the training, did all the preliminary stuff, and then never, I just didn't follow, I didn't follow through on it. And what had changed for me what, what, what kind of scared me as far as carrying a firearm was um, really anger management issues. And I wasn't a, you know, a, a hothead all the time or something like that. But there were certain times that I said, you know, this is not going to be a good mix for me. Uh, I don't know when this is going to happen, and, and, and I just don't want to have to make that decision at the time. Uh, so for me personally, I still don't have one. I still don't have a permit, nor do I carry. Um... But that was, that was a big, I have several reasons why I don't care. That's one of them. Okay, I'm a lot better at this stuff now, but uh, back when I was looking into this, I could see where I could have got myself in a lot of trouble. Um, the training I received back then, I don't think it's uniform. I don't think it's, I don't even think the same guy teaches now, but I went to a guy that was with the Sheriff's Department. And it was probably the best training thing I'd ever been to, Period. As far as the guy, the guy spent the first several hours trying to get an idea, trying to get through to your head that if you really needed a firearm, a, a, a permit or not, a, a, a permit to conceal. And that was eye opening. Um, and I think a lot of people don't really understand what comes with a, um, what comes with carrying, if you're going to carry a firearm, a firearm. Um, and this guy was, it was a real eye opener for me. Uh, a couple of things that he discussed. I don't know if they do this anymore as far as training around here. Um, but the other, one of the other reasons why I don't carry as far as is the responsibility. Um, just like cops today, if they happen to shoot someone, the, that really opens the door to a lot of other things going on. And I'm not talking about this, but the psychological stuff, this and that. But it's, there's a big liability Okay, cops have to, after they shoot someone or use their firearm, they have to go through an, you know, uh, an investigation whether or not it was a good shoot. That goes for us as well. Uh, we have this thing in our mind that we're going to have some axe murder walking through the house or guy with a shotgun and, and you end up shooting him to protect yourself. Okay, that sounds good. But what if you did something and come to find out they didn't have a firearm or they didn't have an axe? You just thought they did. So there's a, there's a whole lot of consequences potential consequences to carrying that firearm and when you really sit back and look at it uh, I think a lot of people just avoid that okay uh, so it's not you know if you look at the cop scenario where they go oh, that was a good shooter that was a bad shoot the same thing could happen to me like I said I'm talking about myself uh, so that was another big deciding factor of whether or not I was going to continue and try to get this this permit which is much easier now I did this back in the 90s um, then I have a, a, a guy I spoke with, who happens to be chief of police now, and he was trying to get me to get my permit. He said, dude, get it. You need it for your, because I have a night job. He said, you really should have your, your permit. And he came back a while later and said, did you get it yet? I said, no, I didn't get it. I said, listen, in the meantime, what can I do legally without getting one? He said, well, you're on your own property. You can conceal, but once you get on the road, but before you get off your property, you can you know you can't you can't have the firearm the way it is. It's got to be unloaded, locked, all this kind of stuff. And so what I did, I did is I did that. I did the alternative for me because I really needed it when I was leaving work, and that worked out for a good ten years. 
and I'm not even doing that anymore for other reasons. But what I couldn't do is I, I could never take the firearm anywhere, but as long as I was at work or at home, I could conceal. And that worked out for me for a good long time. So I never pursued the, the, the permit. But the um, the reason I don't carry is, is like I said, one is there's, there's um, I don't get myself, I mean, you, you never know if trouble is coming your way, but I don't put myself in the way of trouble. Okay, it may be coming for me, but I ain't going for it. So I'm not, I'm not in, um, you know, I'm even going to stores and stuff like that. I am very aware. Um, yeah, I see that's no guarantee, but I, um, I think some people get this idea when they're carrying a sidearm that somehow they're bulletproof. I'll, I will make, I will point one thing out. Like, so those are my reasons. One is I had some anger issues, and uh, two, it's it's a big liability. I mean, at the minimum, you could be sued. You, know, you get a bad shoot or something, you could end up in prison. Okay, I mean, I could end up in prison. I'm not talking about anybody else. Um, but one thing I, that in this training that I took with this guy from the sheriff's department, and he said, you have to understand, he spent a long time trying to get people to decide what they really needed one. He said, if you're thinking like this, or if this is your mindset, this is not for you. Own a firearm, keep it at home, go practice with it, enjoy it, but you don't necessarily need to be carrying it if that is your mindset. And for the people that were honest, you know, we can see what he was saying. But he said, you have to understand what this firearm is for. If you're in a situation where something's going down, where your life is threatened or someone else's, this is not a the firearm where you're going to pull this thing out and you're going to save the day. All the firearm is to do for you is to give you time and distance. Okay? You're going to use that firearm to enable you the extra time it takes to get out of that situation and put distance between you and it. Get far enough away where you can then call 911 and have the cops go back there and get shot up. And he said, once he, once he beat that into our heads, you got to understand, you're not the cornered guy and, you know, going to gonna take these guys out and this kind of thing. You just want to get out of there. And I, I, I think he was right. Um... That's it. I won't get off on the tangent, but anyhow, the, the reason the reason I don't I don't carry myself and I is like I said, was anger issues with myself and then uh, just the huge responsibility of it. Um, you know, I could do something stupid. You know, maybe maybe in the eyes of the law, it wasn't legal for me to shoot that fire to shoot that person, fire that gun, whatever I did, and then my butt's in jail or sued or whatever the case is. So that was I don't mean to be a uh, party pooper here, but it's just something to. Uh, Consider. Another thing, and I'll go off on a tangent here, so I got a few minutes. You hear a lot of these people talking now that, well, if that bar or like the Orlando thing or if that place, if there were some people there, if it wasn't a gun-free zone and there were some people that were legal gun owners that had the permit to conceal, that may not have happened, or that may not have been as bad, or or um, these kind of things. Yeah, that's true. It could also have been worse. I'm not real keen on having everybody armed because most people that I come across every day are clueless and I, I prefer not having them armed. I'm not saying that I'm special or anything like that, but the, I see these people driving around, texting, driving me off the road, this kind of stuff. I don't like this person to have the opportunity to be armed. Okay, that's not the person I'm depending on. Uh, if there was, and I know here in California when they, you receive your training, they do not train you for, for uh, active shooter. Now, if someone was saying, oh, but they trained for that now. There's people, there's civilians out there with, with firearms that have been trained for active shooter scenarios. Okay, I'm cool with that. That's great. But having just thinking of a bar where everyone's packing, I, ain't going, I don't go to bars anyway. But that, that, don't, that don't sound good to me. But you say, I, I see my, my sister has a permit to carry. Okay. You don't know her. If you did, that wouldn't make you feel very good. My sister cared. This would be someone who dropped down below a table, just lean over and empty the gun. You know, I just, I, 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 having a lot of people loaded up with firearms, I don't think that's the, necessarily the solution. We, the, uh, but that's, that's just my opinion. You know, that's why I don't carry. It's a great video by Pops Quest. Um, I think most people like us in this community that watch these kind of videos. Um, we get kind of tunnel vision. We think that maybe everyone else thinks like we do. And that's, I'm not saying that's good or bad, but they don't think like we do. And so, therefore, they're not not—they're really not the profile or not the person, I think, that needs to be armed. We might 
You might be in a bar situation where we were the tight pack on the firearm and we're looking at the doors and we're aware and maybe we've got training, we've got the right mindset. That's fine, but the average person doesn't. So when you, I hear these people on the radio, well, you know, if more people, this, I don't think that's the solution because most people are just clueless. God bless them, but they just, you know, I, I, there's, not, there's, there's a lot of sheep and you need some good sheep dogs. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Great job, Pops Quest. Go subscribe to this channel if you haven't heard from them. Love you and God bless.